Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 46 of Isolate, Meditate, Create. My name is Jessica Lynn Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo, which is a company dedicated to the direction and development of one-person plays. So thank you so much for joining me uh, for day 46. Um, the purpose of this experience is just to unite us and connect us to one another and to our own creativity during um, stay at home, during quarantine. So uh, hopefully this has um, enriched your, your life during these past 46 days. I know it certainly has for me. Um, and if you missed any of the previous um, meditations, you can go to my YouTube channel, Jessica Lynn Johnson, Soaring Solo Artist, and watch any of the replays that you would like. They're, they're all there, plus some, some bonus videos as well. Okay, so please make sure that you have something nearby you to write with and write on. As soon as we're done meditating, we're gonna jump into our writing. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes. Just make sure you're seated comfortably and start focusing on your breath. <sighs> Audibly exhaling if you need to. Just releasing any stress or tension. Just allowing everything to slow way down. Dropping into this present moment. Try to put aside your to-do lists or any personal dramas and just be here now. Notice any thoughts that might be passing through or racing around your mind. Notice them, but try to let them float by. Try not to attach to any of them. Just allow your mind to clear, to become a blank canvas. And just imagine that every breath is filling your entire body with warm and nourishing light. And take a body scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And notice where you might be carrying any tension or discomfort or pain. And just breathe deeply into those places. And just further relax and release. And allow your shoulders to drop back and your facial muscles to relax. Your hands to open up and soften. Every inch of you to just totally relax and melt into the chair beneath you or the ground beneath you. And just really take in all the support that is available to you right now the support of the ground or chair beneath you, the support of everyone on this Zoom call, my support for you as an artist, and your own support. And imagine with every in-breath, you are breathing in all that serves you, all that is good, all that fills your cup. Optimism, hope, faith, love, laughter, kindness, generosity, abundance, creativity. Whatever it is that fills your cup, just breathe it in deeply. And imagine on the out breath, 
you are returning to the world those things that do not serve you right now. Things that keep you blocked or stuck, release any judgment or pessimism or scarcity, fear, paranoia, limited thinking and beliefs. Release all of those things on your out breath. So breathing in those things that serve you and exhaling out those things that do not. Letting go of bitterness or resentments, at least for this, this moment in time. And imagine gradually that your breath is starting to transform and that on your out breath, you are able to return to the world that which you have to give. So breathing in those things that serve you and then on your out breath, you're able to give your own sense of abundance, generosity, kindness, encouragement, patience, love, non-judgment, gratitude, whatever it is that you have to return to the world laughter, creativity, just release it on your out breath. So that our breath is now reflecting a cycle of giving and receiving, giving and receiving. In this next moment, I'm going to guide you through a visualization. And I just ask that you trust whatever comes up for you. Try not to control it or make sense of it. Try not to judge it or censor it. Know that you never have to share anything that comes up for you unless you choose to. So be very free in this experience. Allow your imagination, your intuition, and your creativity to guide you. I want you to call to mind your biggest fan, your biggest fan throughout your life. Who is the person who has just supported you and encouraged you and lifted you up in your life? Let that person come to your mind. And as you identify this person, what is it about them that allows you to feel so supported, to feel so encouraged, loved, and admired? What types of things do they say or do? Just let some of those details come to your mind. And when did this relationship begin? When did this, this person, your biggest fan, enter into your life? How long has this relationship been a part of your life?
And what's one of the most meaningful moments between you and this person where you felt just really supported and seen and heard and encouraged? What's just one moment you can isolate where they really showed up for you like that? And just recall as many of the details as you can. What time of the day was it or evening? What year was it? How old were you? What season of the year was it? Who else was there? Whatever details you can recall. And how has this person enhanced your life, changed your life, transformed you? What gifts did this person bring into your life? How have they affected the trajectory of your life? And what is your relationship to that person right now in this present moment? And if they are no longer with us in the physical body, how does their memory honor, how do you honor their memory? How do they still live within your, your life now in some way, shape or form? What is the meaning of that relationship today, right now? And what feelings come up for you as you recall this person and <clears throat> recall their, their contribution to your life and their faith in you? What feelings come up? Just honor those feelings, hold space for those feelings. And how might you take that sense of being supported and encouraged, loved and admired, how can you take that and pay it forward and share that beautiful energy with other people or with someone else? And just take another moment in this memory and this reflection and just ask your intuition, your creativity, your imagination to reveal anything else that this memory wants to show you, that this reflection has to offer you. Just be with it another moment.
Taking another deep breath in. And on our exhale, just releasing that and coming back to this moment, opening our eyes. And uh, please reach for whatever it is that you have to write with and write on. I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes. And just go ahead and uh, be very free in whatever you write. Um, write about whatever came up for you. So maybe that's a, <clears throat> a scene between you and this other person. Maybe um, it's a monologue from their perspective, or maybe it's first person narration. You're just talking about your memory, your memories with them. It could be poetry or song lyrics. Uh, there's no way to mess this up. Just express yourself freely, and I'll let you know when your eight minutes are up. If you have any questions, just put them in the chat, please.
I have about three and a half minutes left, three and a half minutes. Under a minute left. Okay, please wrap up your writing. Hopefully you got something meaningful out of that. Um, and as I always say, I encourage you to transcribe whatever you've written into a computer document if you haven't done so already, um, especially if you're wanting to possibly turn this work into a solo show. It's important to start keeping a page count, to start noticing themes and um, what your show might be. So keeping it safe in one place is a really great idea. Um, and I would also encourage you to share what you've written with someone that you trust, someone who can hold a safe supportive space for you to express yourself in, this, in these early versions of your show. Um, and uh, please feel free also to share this experience, this Zoom link with anyone you think might benefit from it. Um, it's gonna be every day during quarantine. So if there's anyone else you think might benefit from this experience, please uh, share this information with them. Um, and lastly, I put a bunch of announcements in the chat, so please um, look in your chat and take a moment to see if any of that is of interest to you. Um, first and foremost, my ongoing free class that I've been teaching for a decade now 
um, that is scheduled for uh, Saturday, May 16th and May 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific time on, on Zoom. Um, so you don't have to have any experience and you don't have to have anything prepared. Just show up um, and uh, I will give everybody a writing prompt. And um, then there will be an opportunity to share. Um, I get through as many people as I can. You don't have to share if you don't want to, but I do require an RSVP. So go to jessicalynjohnson.com and register under free stuff uh, for that class. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm really excited um, to be hosting the, the fifth installment of the Soaring Solo Spotlight webinar series. It's been going really well. Um, our, my guests have been just, just so amazing with, with their vast knowledge um, about this genre. And tomorrow, um, I'll be teaching how to edutain, tour, and make money with your solo show. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I toured for over a decade with both of my solo shows, Oblivious to Everyone and Z, and that's how I made my living as a solo artist. And now I'm a director and developer full time um, of solo theater. But previously, I, I was an artist myself and, and toured the college circuit and international festivals and things like that. So I'm going to really speak to that aspect of things and, and how you can really make a nice lucrative living um, doing this work. Um, and TL is going to speak to the edutainment component. Um, she's known as the Deaf Lady Gaga. She's a singer songwriter, critically acclaimed solo artist. She won the um, Hollywood Fringe Diversity Scholarship, just a very impressive um, performer. And she's gonna really teach you how to educate and entertain people at the same time. Um, and we're just gonna join forces and talk about that and, and just really what touring looks like. Um, so that is happening tomorrow morning, 10.30 to 12.30 Pacific time, $30 suggested donation. Um, if you cannot swing that, we get it. I know it's a tricky time right now. Just let me know whatever you can donate and it's, it's all good. Um, just email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com um, for that. And then um, I'm going to be hosting another Snacks open mic. So this is an open mic solely for solo artists. Um, and you don't have to be memorized. Um, you can even use one of the pieces that that you wrote in the Isolate, Meditate, Create. It's just a really safe, supportive space. The one we did, I think it was back in February in person when we did that one, it was awesome. It went so well. And um, I think everybody really got to express themselves and enjoy each other's um, uh, pieces and vulnerability. So um, that's gonna be great. It's on Zoom, Friday, May 15th, 6 p.m. Pacific time, a $5 donation for that. And part of the proceeds are gonna go toward the White Fire Theater, saving the White Fire Theater. So um, email me to RSVP and I'll send you the Zoom link and all the information. Um, and again, if you've missed any days of Isolate, Meditate, Create, I've included my YouTube link um, in the chat. So you can go and watch that. And I have a bunch of videos on solo theater tips and things in there. So it's not just the meditations. There's, there's a bunch of stuff in there. And um, lastly, if you wanted to um, work with me in a more pro professional capacity and um, either do an initial consult or join one of my small groups or power pair sessions, or you're curious to know more about what I do, um, you can visit my website, jessicalynnjohnson.com, or you can email me and I'd be happy to just tell you uh, more about my offerings and see if any of that's a good fit for you. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So please have a really amazing day. Email me with any questions or thoughts. And I will see you all tomorrow, uh, same time, same place. Thank you. Have a good one, everyone.